but health wise for me it's a threat sijui okay. ni venye maybe ujui life yangu ama history yangu uh, wambo i almost had i almost miscarried because of high blood pressure ni to extreme preeclampsia then after wambo ni lose mtoto hapo katikati because of it and then ikaza junior then after junior junior by the kidogo in uwe nilikuwa na paralyze huku kwote venye tu vitu zingine tu naongeanga maybe kwa page yangu what's up what's up niko na Vincent Mboya and of course tuko na mama wambo tulikuwa service kidogo lakini tukaamua you know what tupige story personally nime learn about forgiveness uh, ngoja kidogo mboya zamu ile tunasemanga au wengine tunafanya nini Yo what's up what's up guys how are you doing I go by the name Vincent Mbwa the entertainment critic officer na kama kawaida channel hizi mbili ndio nambari moja kwa burudani ndio nambari moja kwa ombea alafu wao wengine wao tunawa potezea hakuna mtu ako na intro mbaya kama Vincent Mbwa huyu jamaa amebarikiwa na Mungu sana Mbwa anachaka dini mama wa Mbwa hey you looking good Asante nimefurahi kuona nilikuwa hapo mbele na preach guys hapa CPF for our revival friday meeting niko na mboya na kiokoa ameingia nikashtuka na BTG eh, na BTG BTG yako huko nyuma ya camera guys so nimeshtuka kuwaona nikashanga mmekuja kutafuta Yesu ama mmekuja kutafuta udaku ama mmekuja ni marango kwanza kuwa hapa by the way this guy is, is a very good supporter of mine this is his second time coming god aku bless amen yes, yes. so service imekuwaaje what was the lesson today today we were speaking about love Because Jesus anasema there are two commandments that are very great number one, love God number two, love your neighbor na unapata hapo kwa Mark 12 na tunafunzwa ku love kwa sababu the problem is watu wengi kama wa Kristo tunasema sisi ni wa Kristo but hatuna hiyo love kwa hati yetu so God anasema eh, kwa first Corinthians 13 inasema come say is love basi hakuna kitu una do hata kama unaomba aje una profesa yaje na una love uko nje so christ is love god is love biblia inasema god is love so if you can't love uko nje yes imeona pia kwa service mmechangia one of the members mm. because alikuwa inasemekana anaishi kwenye streets ni nini i mean nini kina kinakusukuma sana kusaidia watu kama wale because i understand nimeambiwa pia mm. last week mlisaidia mtu mwingine akatoka i think former director mm former video director Taiga. Taiga. Yeah. Kwa Taiga tukamsaidia. You know the thing is uh, kenye tu kenye tu tunasema kuhusu love. Uwezi sema tu na ku love ama na ku love. Lazima kuwe na action ya love. So huyo mse amekamba there to jaimuona, amekamleo the first day na ukimuona tu anakatua ko. Yaani ame ako poa, alafu alikuwa analala hapo kwa streets Kencom. Manze kama si ni wa Kristo manze tunafaa kusaidia such people. Yes. Sema na ku love. Eh? Sema na ku love. Hiyo ni sema tu na kulove na kupenda yani. Hiyo hiyo anandanganya lora. Nataka ni nataka ni kufunza sheng. Nataka ni kufunza sheng. Hadi wewe na kulove ni kama umesema ukiongea sasa nataka ni kufunza ka sheng fulani. Ni sheng. Sema na kulove. Na kulove. Sasa unafaa useme. Na kulove. Na kulombo tov. Oh na kulombo tov. Na kulombo tov. Oh okay hiyo ndio sheng. Si sheng. Ishiro Shembeteng. Oh, Shembeteng na ku eh? Na kulombo. Na kulombo. Eh, wacha hiyo. Na ku wache wache na ku what eh wewe we, wacha. Nimeshindwa <laughs> kisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tukiendea moving on swiftly. Yeah. Last time I checked uh, tulikuwa kwa ground breaking ya nyumba yenu yes. kwenye mnajenga. Yeah. Sasa nimekuwa nikiona tu ma video picha inaenda. Tulikuwa na Moraya actually pale kwa mara kwa than last last week. Uh-huh. Akatuonyesha nyumba mahali imefika. Uh-huh. Pia akaonyesha kwa channel ya Tumbili. Uh-huh. Process iko aje so far? Progress Pro- yani. Progress iko poor by the way by the grace of God in two months tumefanya foundation ground floor a uh, basement ground floor na site unaenda first floor yani god amekuwa eh hey, mimba siamini you know when god comes through for you guys ni poa ya god ame come through alafu god ametupatia pia watu wengi tuna work nao rombas concrete at peace uh, modokijo cement and paint yani tumekuwa na partners wengi na imagine sasa hii god ni mpoa even zaidi hata watu wengi wana call wana wengine wengine wanataka kupartner na sisi because this is a mansion unajua mo the reason why niko na compassion sana na watu hawana mali pa kuishi there's a time i was homeless there's a time my husband was homeless so sisi tumeishia life ya kuhasul unaona and sasa tuna ni, that's why mwana watu kao yani hati yangu ina go to them you know cuz kuna time mo alikuwa anaishi chini ya stairs hakuwa na mali pa kuilala kuna time mimi nilikuwa na hostiwa na sister yangu msoo sikuwa na place pa kulala so 
yani ukiona sasa hii tuna build yani god ni mso manze god ni mso sana yes god is faithful mm. so juzi mr moraya alikuwa dubai mm. na alikuwa peke yake yes <laughs> kwa nini alikuwa job alikuwa anatafuta do eh hey. hey, alikuwa biz na pia mimi nilikuwa huku nilikuwa na some few i think kama uliona nilikuwa bungoma mm-hmm. So alikuwa busy unajua nilimwambia toka mbio wewe ndio utafute do unajua tunapendisha hao nataka pesa shauri nataka do so nilimwambia eh bro toka bwanangu sorry bibi toka mbio utafute do na cuz you know he's building and you know building is not is not easy so he's a businessman so anatafuta do okay mbaya uko na swali mbaya na swali niko nayo ai mbaya ni bishtaa hapana sisi ba Okay, first of all yeah. uh, nataka first of all kukushukuru because uh, the other day you prayed and then uh, it bengu kalipuka thanks god but it's still growing so umesema kwamba uh, your house people have been coming to to to, to Ruan. right now says it you're working with different brands how many any, any brands are you working with so far wow for the house of just me okay overall like size 8 overall eight. size 8 yeah. oh, kuna soft care diapers kuna soft care pads kuna clay soft washing powder, abyss lace wig, rhombus concrete, modokijo, paints and cement, art piece, faven properties, Liz Clement. Ya 10 ni gani? Liz Clement salon. Spa. Ni 8. Ni 8. Haki Mungu. Wow. Haki Mungu. Wamesahau gani? Gani? Sema tu. Eh, 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 oh Helium by Laura. Yeah, yeah Helium by Laura. Oh the makeup tower. Okay, I can say one one thing I can say is God has God has really favored me for for cause babu watu kama soft care. I've been with them since November 2016. And uh mimi naambia wa say unaweza kuwa uko born again, very born again, speaking God, spitting God and 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 professing Christ and you're favored and you, and brands work with you because watu wanaona ngani kama ukiongea kuhusu Christ brands it but hata uh, ukicheki kwa tv like three or four adverts they are using my face because god ana try kutuonyesha that uh, ukiokoka haujaparara uh, yes size it mama ambo mm. what is the uh, the biggest amount of money you shall lip wa ku influence a brand we wacha 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 hiyo <laughs> atujibu hapa yeah. tunawachia mungu tukezi ki- labda hebu tuweke approximately 3 uh, million 5 million <laughs> Amadou, let's do this let's do this eh? let, let's do this okay sawa okay sawa nivo okay size it okay uko utachoma eh utachoma unaleta agency na kukaicha utachoma sasa right now you are a millionaire you you to see feature when was the first time you you earned your first million that's a good question 2020 2012 i was 26 years Yes. I was in form 1. But unaona na age mate. Wewe ni mama wambo. Bado si mzee. Okay, I can say that I really work. Unajua the, the reason why I started working hard was because uh mimi ras kuanga na sanitary towels. Okay. So ukicheki nikijiona hata kwa soft care uh um, sanitary towels na nashukuru na Mungu juu mimi sikuanga na sanitary towels nilikuwa na side wangu na watu kama Jacky Maribe nikiwa high school lakini like Edith Kimani the other ones were my classmates so ni, ikabidi ni work hard nilianza kusaidia budangu kulipa hao nikiwa na 19 years so unacheki mimi na moto me grow ile place lazima tu work hard na mimi naambia ngama dem si lazima uwekwe na chali unajua madem hata nilikuwa na nilikuwa tunaongea na boy fulani wa demo wanapenda kutumia do ya mwili zao wapate do na the problem of that sawa utapata do but ujue was rembo anaendelea kuzali kuzaliwa kuna siku nyingine utakuwa umechapa so kuna msemi mwingine hata kuna wademu wengine wadogo hata watakuwa benefit what a benefit more so mimi nataka tu kuambia madem my age you can work hard and god can bless the works of your hands so we work hard and and god will bless the works of your hands and for me i i, I know god gives me even more favor because the money he gives me unacheki kapa tuna play tunalipa press watu wana kama wana pray tuna play pamoja but naweza uh, sema kenya industry na grow si mi peke yangu even the bahatis are doing well the wajizas are doing well people are doing well in the industry the madenges are doing well as in akina the terence mili mili, mili na terence mwangis the mwangis oh the mwangis yeah. they are doing well guys are doing well industry watu wanadupoa na mimi napenda ku support kila mtu because keki ni kubwa yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And says it, uh, you right now you, you are a preacher and also you are a musician. How do you unazi balance that? You kitu a show and perform. Amu kitu malama you go first before perform unanza. Fungwe ni bibilia. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Ni kitu amal pa kuimba mo imba. Ni kimbo ni kitu amal pa ku preach mo preach. Story tu mo uchoka sana. As in it's tiresome. See, I see, could balance a lot of hearts. Yes. Ni kipenda ni kuliza swali ya mwisho from a gospel perspective. Wewe kama mtumishi wa Mungu. Jana tulikuwa pale kotini Kibera. Kwa kesi yake Rington against Robert Alai. Unfortunately, unfortunately Rington alilia sana kitestify what happened last year during the incident yenye ili happen. Uh, Rington alilia sana na story kakimbia sana kwenye mtandao. As a, as a gospel minister, as a gospel artist, what's your take on that? What's your reaction on that? Sisiezi comment you si kuona. Jana I think nilikuwa too busy. Nilikuwa honestly before God si jaona. Ata uni umona ni mestuka. Yes. <laughs> Na ukua si jajua yo story. So ni kiona yo clip ndo neza. Neza. Alilia sana. Alilia macheo ni sana. Una isema hivo. Maybe, maybe ni kiona jasa jalia. Alilia. Alilia. <laughs> alilia. Aliva maska kalia. Aki unanionea leo. <laughs> Kiyoko, <laughs> 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 Apana we, <laughs> so apana, apana, apana we, apana. <laughs> so right now, I say that uh, in Swahili motion, I see you're looking smart, you're looking amazing. Are you expecting uh, maybe? Ah, uh, ninguo, imeja, imeja. Apa ni cotton, unona we, ni 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 li ata ni li juam tasema ni stiff neti konda ni una yona ndo ikubwa. Sita ki mtoto sai na sitaraji mtoto na siombi mtoto na nataka kufanya kazi ya Mungu nimetosheka. No unajua no, niko nadhani. Ah ah ni nguo ah ah pana. Eh wa hu congratulations I wish you well mami. Wewe mm. unajua kuna mtoto. No. Wacha wazae mimi sitaki mtoto so, sai. Not anytime soon. No no no. no. I'm not. No 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 no. You know for me health wise sijui kama hujalewa uh, high blood pressure in yeah. kimbiza so health wise unacheki for me si atistaki watoto but health wise for me it's a threat okay. sijui ni venye maybe ujui life yangu ama history yangu uh, wambo i almost had i almost miscarried because of high blood pressure and it was extreme preeclampsia then after wambo ni lose mtoto yapo katikati because of it and then ikaza junior then after junior junior by the way kidogo ni uwe nilikuwa na paralyze huku kwote venye tu vitu zingine ongeanga maybe kwa page yangu junior nilikuwa na paralyze side yote so unajua extreme extreme preeclampsia that is very high blood pressure but by the god by the grace of god niliza but niliza ali akalikuwa kadogo nini and then after that nikapata boli last year hiyo kadibu ni uwe i think you all of you so but unfortunately mtoto wangu wa survive and then even this year march march tare 7 pressure ilikuwa imefika 236 so ni ka advice wa mambo ya watu hii for me si ati but mimi natenda watu hii hata ningekuwa na watu 10 watoto 10 but health yangu um, na na pray god hata ni toa kwa mambo ya kumeza dawa za pressure the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Invite people for, for, uh, for the service to Kimalizia. Hi guys, I will invite all of you uh, at CPF for the prayer meeting. The prayer changes things. Come and pray for the revival meeting. Kama venye mboya me testify, tuliomba na ye mkadhani tume script na tuku script. Imagine and I was there. Kwa ta ezi tutetea. 
Ya ya ukiokota we no, kuenda. No, lakini no, lakini mali popote kikiokuwa naonekana mm. watu wanajua wanajua ngo huyu after ibutita huyu scripts. Oh so anadhani ni script. <laughs> Toka hapa uende. So so haikuwa script na ukicheki <laughs> umse page yake ime grow by then nasikia ume ume ume, ume interview somebody I'm great. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we thank God for favor as in prayer works. Come we pray together here at CPF prayer meeting and remember Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life nobody goes to the father but through Jesus Christ and i pray for these guys now in the name of Jesus Christ lord they came for the meeting and lord they forgiven and they have loved lord i pray for favor upon their channels and favor upon their lives and lord also bring for them good wives that will that fear god and love you and love them oh god and lord i pray for expansion I pray that they begin to get big endorsements oh God father change their lives oh God in the name of Jesus Christ let them begin working with big endorsements with big money in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord also may they continue fearing you and loving you and walking with you in the name of Jesus Lord they have come for your meeting let them know that they've come for a meeting that is with God that is of God and Lord let them see a change in their lives in the name of Jesus I speak favor in their channels in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Lord let this video propel the gospel of Jesus in Jesus name amen amen thank you so much for your time uh, tumefurahia sana every time tumekuona tuna feel Mungu ako hapo nilifunzangwa mahali na kikambo unajua kikambo si ndio mahali wawili wamekaa god is there yes uh, wali wawili watatu wako Mungu yuko yeah. sawa so, uh, and i mean it may you may your channels begin to attract amen. big endorsements amen yes na, na msisao Mungu Thank you so much. Asante kweli. So boya, yes. boya so kazi yako uliamua ni kuuma na unapuliza au unauma unapuliza kidogo. Umefanya <laughs> nini? Si unajua venye umefanya. Lakini hapana si ni, ni unaona hmm. ile ni, ni watu wanasema script sabu liko hapo. Watu wanasema. Basi tulikuwa hapo actually hata hata tukujua kama utaombewa. Yeah, Ul, ilikaa mtu kwa akili yako na nikaona umeambia says it okay you know what. Pray Sasa ni kama for confirm hapo sasa hii tumeombewa. Alafu after hapo nasema ni kipindi. Part ile pale hapo apropos tunasema ah ile wali walienda ka script toka ti watu wameenda usherati na Ivasha sisi tumebaki na Nairobi kuombewa. Akili yako imejaa tu usherati. Ah umesikia by the way na Ivasha kuna condom. Zimeisha bro. Mpaka kuna mzaya anapeana anapeana kwa gari juu. Thank you so much guys for watching. Tuko chachi, tuko chachi. Oh. Tutunge tukitoka hapa kwa gari. Nimesha nimesha uti. Ulai unajua. Mwangalie mimi nangaloko nyuma. Maliza shot. Bye bye. <laughs>